Welcome to the 7th Annual Face Awards. Welcome to the 7th Annual Face Awards. Oh, Mary, Mary, Samuel, Laura, Daniel, Peter. What was like one of the embarrassing things that you regularly did until you learned to do better? Alright, so before we get into this week's film, I just wanted to thank you guys with all of my heart for your amazing response to my film that I put out last week called Darkness. I read every single one of your comments and all of the DMs and I'm just so blessed that you guys were so encouraging and uplifting and so brave to share your own stories and it really made me feel just ugh, so excited about this family and this community that we have built here that we can share not only a laugh but like really serious stuff as well. That being said, I've got a bit of some really good news. So I was just invited to screen and premiere a film at Buffer Festival, which if you guys don't know what that is, it is like the biggest film festival for all digital content creation. I'm so excited. So we got a big film coming up, y'all. Yes. So back to this film right here. So it's been, it's been quite a journey here on Swoop with all of the makeup road and a full face of your guys, subscriber theirs, which by the way, if you guys haven't seen that video, it is linked in the description. It is hilarious. Fantastic. Tonight, I am going to be one of the MCs for this huge beauty event called Face Awards. I'm gonna be running around with a microphone like I usually do, and I'm going to be talking to a bunch of beauty influencers on YouTube. And it got me kind of thinking, like, like as they were, you know, getting, ow. Like surely they, they've had some mess ups. I'm gonna ask them about these most embarrassing makeup moments and then I'm going to take those moments and turn them into a full face tutorial. So before we dive into the beauty gurus, this story actually starts once again in San Francisco. You guys remember this? Well, I'm back there because I got to do something super cool that I didn't yet get to share with you guys. So let's do it. So a pretty cool thing just happened. Uh, this company, Bite Beauty, found out that I'm in San Francisco, and they asked me if I want to come over to their spot and make some custom lipsticks. So I figured, who am I to pass up such an opportunity? I like to eat healthy while I travel. I'm gonna sit in the front. over to Bite Beauty. So I have no idea what's about to happen, but I know I'm gonna show up and we're gonna have a good time, so let's do this. Ah. Hi! Hello! Hi! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you, thank you for the invite. I don't know what magical lip wonderland I stepped into, but this place was pretty magical. I've never done this before. So today we're gonna to be creating two original lipstick shades. Okay. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. This is our whipped cherry fruit scrub. Uh, so they basically had me remove my crusty lipstick, scrub it off with some fancy scrub, and then put some buttery stuff on there to make it all soft. And then they asked me what kind of shade I want. And you guys know I love me some hot pinks and some bright reds. So that's the kind of shades that I was going for. And they mix a bunch of colors together until you get the perfect one. <laughs> it was really cool. You could like tailor the hues and mix it. And even this happened. Oh. <laughs> We're all right, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah, I know. So we did like a really experimental color as well, just for fun to see what would happen. Um, let's do side by side. Mm. Looks pretty good on both of you. And you know, I thought it was a, uh, it was pretty cool. But now we had to name them. Swoop dog. Oh, swoop dog. Swoop, swoop there it is. Swoop. Swoop. Oh my gosh. Right, let's call it good. Good. Oh, look at those names. They look so good. I love it. Behold the lipsticks 
And now it came time for them to like do this magical sorcery spinny mixy machiney thing and pour it into a holy thing and somehow, I don't know, lipsticks appeared, it was crazy. Yes, fancy time with their magical powers. Ah, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Pretty cool experience. Bye. Well, enough of those shenanigans. It was time for me to head back home. Okay, thank you. We are in route right now to the Orpheum Theater. So I'm trying to make this video different than the worst nightmares, which was like things that happened to you that were out of your control. This is more about like stuff that you did to yourself when you didn't know what the heck you were doing. So uh, let's see how this goes. You know what, while I'm thinking about it, leave a comment right now. Leave a comment with your most embarrassing makeup thing that you used to do. And leave a comment, I'll come back, I'll read them, and it'll be like a whole good thing, all right? Leave it, yeah. I'm just hanging out right now. I've got to record a few voiceovers that they're gonna be running during the show. So we're just chilling right now. Welcome to the seventh annual Face Awards. Welcome to the seventh annual Face Awards presented by Nick's Professional Makeup. Please welcome your host, Patrick Starr. Good night when you leave the party with six burgers. For some reason, this is happening. <laughs> Y'all know that I've been living in Doc Martens. Do you have any idea what my feet feel like right now? <gasps> Somebody get me home and get me in my Doc Martens. What is this heel nonsense? Balancing on toothpicks. <laughs> Here we are, back at it again. All right, before we get started, I just got like a little PSA moment really quick. I just want you guys to remember, I don't think that there's really any such thing as like a mistake or like embarrassments when it comes to makeup. It's meant to be experimented with, it washes off, just have fun with it. But I'm, I'm going to try to make this makeup look good. I'm gonna try. Okay, let's get started with the brows. That you're so like, ah, I'm so glad I know better now. I think brows, I, I didn't know you could fold them in. Same. Well then, seems like most people just uh, didn't do their brows when they were getting started. Brows are done. Let's continue. Laura. Laura. I was like emo, right? Like in that era. Like, and then I wouldn't use uh, moisturizer or foundation. I would only use like really white uh, pow like powder, foundation powder. Powder without foundation. My favorite. <laughs> Itches like Satan. <sighs> okay, we didn't we didn't go for the most pale, but this is definitely my my winter shade. Times ten. Alright, so I just met Tiffany, Hi. part of the swoop squad. Um, I definitely didn't know how to put on concealer. I was just like kind of when I started put it on my fingers and then it would just crease everything. Uh, Mama gotta come for you. <laughs> Do embarrassing makeup, she said. This will be fun, she said. Oh, this just feels so nice on top of that powder. Looking smashing. Let's continue. I got Daniel here. And his brownie that glow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there are countless photos where I use non-translucent powder, just a white powder, uh, under my eyes and get that flashback Mary, uh, James Charles look. 
You know, I'm gonna tell you a little story once upon a time. I put this powder in all of the areas that I set my concealer and I went to a wedding where there was nothing but flash photography. I ruined all of those wedding photos. It was horrifying. I can't wait to relive that right now. Looks pretty harmless right now, but I'm pretty certain if we were to turn the flash on, it would look like shit. I guess we should find out. It doesn't get any better. It <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Blending was a very foreign concept to me, apparently. I really did like just a chunk of black and then a chunk of gold. No blending, just two chunks. <laughs> Who needs blending when you've got chunky? <laughs> oh, this is just everything I could have ever dreamed of and so much more. What's next? First, when I first was allowed to wear makeup, I got eyeliner and I rimmed my whole eye like over and over and over. We're just gonna go ham. We're gonna go ham all upon that bitch. What do you think? Am I emo yet? <laughs> Let's do the lashes. But I love this human being so much. What is an embarrassing thing that Patrick used to do all the time makeup wise? His eyelashes. I oh, 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 he would wear like 10 pairs of lashes on his face. 10 was not good. No, no, just, just one. One is good, Pat. So uh, I've got, I've got all, all of the lashes. Now I'm going to glue them on top of each other to make one giant lash. I'm only three pairs deep, and I'm already just hating every second of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, one good thing about this mountain sack of lashes that we've got going on here is that it, it, it completely hides all of the eyeshadow, so nobody has to look at that anymore. We will just allow the lash glue to dry over the next three days. I literally am working so hard to keep my eyelids up right now. Let's move on to the rest of the face. Uh, what about your contour? Any mistakes there? Oh uh, god girl, I used to go in black on your face. Yes. So. Yes. I can't actually see my contour because I can't see anything right now with these lashes. Oh, oh man. What happened? We were doing so well. <sighs> Meditate, breathe, relax. And how were you doing your highlighter when you very first started? Oh, with your finger just all over. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I literally feel like these lashes are putting me to sleep. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Smashing. Let's finish her off. What were you doing with your lips back in the day and now you're like, oh. Not using lip liner. Yes. Oh, so it just bleeds, like feathers everywhere. Yeah, it looks so bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, favorite human on the planet. Thank you, Valentine. You know I always say that, girl. I love you. Because I mean it, I love you more. I've been already oh, What about the, the lips? What hair? about lips? Like, what oh, was I your big? Oh, I just wore frost. It was the CoverGirl frost. Yeah, I was all about the frost. I forgot about frost. I think CoverGirl forgot about that frosting too. <laughs> You know, I'm so glad that we get to finish this look with frosted lip. Uh, uh. <laughs> Why is that the best thing that I've ever seen? <laughs> this is a look, this is an entire mood. <laughs> Yeah, that's, whoo, that, I mean, the lashes are kind of growing on me, even though I need a forklift to keep my eyes open. I'm gonna post this to Instagram. Uh, you guys can vote on how you think this look turned out. And well, there's there's really only one thing that I have left to say, and, and you guys know what that is, because, well, I did this one to myself, so swoop, you just got swooped.